Hey, welcome back. Now we're going to be going on to Clockwork Tower. This stage is mostly straightforward, but there's a few nasty tricks that you're going to need to learn. Also, lots of conveyor belts that are going to try to ruin your day. You're going to want to go along the bottom here to avoid those uh, gears. That big dude right there is going to try to throw a gear at you, so be careful. Coming up here, I like to do a uh, off-screen ladder grab right here. Right here, you can uh, face right on that ladder. That way, you get damage boosted right there. Try to dodge those, uh, those gears if you can. These daggers that are on screen right here are completely RNG. So, uh, sometimes they'll hit you, sometimes they won't. If they hit you, don't, uh, don't worry too much about it. There's gonna be daggers showing up here. Once again, be careful. Coming up is a... It's sort of an auto-scroller. You're supposed to, uh, you know wait on this platform and wait for it to get to the end of the level. But I'm going to show you how to completely bypass that. You're going to want to come up here, turn around, get damaged by that chomper, burst through those blocks, come along here, try to land on that platform. Getting hit by that gold armor is okay too. Get hit by this chomper, and then we're right through. And that saves so much time. Grab this checkpoint right here if you want. Just damage boost through those guys. It's not worth trying to kill them. There's a chicken in that wall. Uh, I just missed it. Whatever. Try to go over that gold armor. This is a vertical auto-scroller. Aside from these daggers, which aren't going to bother you too much since you can burst through them, there's absolutely nothing dangerous in this auto-scroller, so don't panic, take your time, and nothing's gonna, you know, hurt you. The most dangerous part of this auto-scroller is the stress of knowing that it is an auto-scroller. Once you get used to it, it's not gonna be a big deal at all. There's a tonic in that uh, dirt pile. Toward you and throw his uh his gear at you. We do double damage to him. Like each of our, our attacks does a full circle of damage. So let's throw some bombs, staff him, and he's dead. Moving on to Tinger Knight Phase Two. It's a little bit more complicated, but still pretty easy. He's gonna spawn right here. As soon as uh, his heart or as soon as his life starts filling up, we can damage him. So get up here, throw some bombs, staff him. You want to try to get up here before he rams you into the wall, but if you don't, that's okay. Just get up here, throw some more bombs at him, use your staff on him. You can actually kill him in two cycles, but uh, when you're learning, you should be uh, aiming to kill him before three cycles have passed. And that's it. Pretty straightforward stage, but... Uh, some dangerous stuff that can get you. Of everything in this stage, I highly recommend practicing that auto-scroller skip the most. Now you're gonna go through here, see a little cutscene, match through the text and the potion drinking animation. Once you see this animation right here, you can stop mashing. And then we're on our way. Congratulations, you have now defeated every uh, knight in the Order of No Quarter. And we can move on to the Tower of Fate, the last three stages of the game.
if you were going a little bit slow, uh, you might have seen the Phantom Striker and a, uh, a Gold Armor extra level pop up here. Do your best to avoid those, because uh, fighting them is a big waste of time. And next time we'll be going into Tower of Fate Entrance.